Behold the Volkswagen Beetle. Bound for extinction, some said, when importation of the car ceased in 1977. <laughs> but there are signs that the beast is more popular than ever. Peg Muncaster has been a Beetle owner for 26 years. The car she drives now is nine years old, and nothing, she says, could make her give it up. And I go down to the garage, the boys will always offer more and more and more. Now it's going up to about almost 2000 but I'm not going to part with it. $2,000 is just about what Peg Muncaster paid for her car when she bought it. But low fuel and repair bills have convinced her and others to hang on to their beetles as long as they can. Or in Peg Muncaster's case, forever. Um, if I go first, it's got to be buried with me. If it goes before I do, I'm going to use it as a planter in my yard. I really am. No matter how much beetle owners love their cars, some of the autos do end up in salvage yards like this one in Zelianople, Pennsylvania, where business in beetle replacement parts has never been so good. Bargains can be found here, a parking light for $10, a fender for $70. But the beetle boom is affecting junkyards too. Wrecks are harder to find and have tripled in price. Used parts are becoming scarce. Production has increased at the Volkswagen plant in Scarborough, Ontario, where workers overhaul about 7,000 Beetle engines a year. But Volkswagen expects that number to go down as time takes its toll on the mechanized bug. This completely restored Beetle is worth almost as much as when it rolled off the production line in 1956. But its owner says it's not for sale at any price. <laughs> The people's car is fast becoming a collector's item.